right. All right, guys, so welcome back. Oh, I almost tripped on my sandals. All right, Funa, just welcome back to yet another video. Today is going to be another special video because today we are going to be collaborating once again with Randy Santel, and this time, Katina Eats. And unfortunately, I was wrong once again. Last video, if you saw it, was the Crawfish Challenge. Katina was listed in doing the challenge, but then I think she backed out because she had another challenge lined up. But for this video, she will be doing the challenge, so that'll be really cool. And today's challenge is going to be at the Wagyu Bar. I think that's how you say it correctly, Wagyu. I had to look that up on YouTube just to make sure I was pronouncing it correctly. But this is going to be the first time me eating a tomahawk steak. So there's a lot of firsts in my recent videos. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be Wagyu beef. I'm hoping, and to be honest, I'm not even sure exactly what this challenge entails. I think it's two steaks and a bunch of sides. I don't even know what sides they are, but I am excited. It's been a minute since I've done a steak challenge and it is local in Miami. With all that said, this should be a very fun video. I'm very hungry, I'm ready. As Randy would say, win before you begin. And I'm hoping I stick to that model for this challenge. So we do have about an hour-ish drive to Miami, so it's gonna be another journey, but I'll see you there. All right guys, so the challenge is gonna be starting here in just about five to 10 minutes, but since it's pretty crowded in there, I'm gonna go ahead and do my own intro so I don't have to boost or 100% boost Randy's intro. So I do have the credentials of the challenge and it is a three pound Wagyu tomahawk steak. So it is Wagyu and I'm super excited about that. We also have a three pound picanha steak. I don't know what that is. My steak knowledge isn't up there, but they did show us the cut and it does look yummy. So we have six pounds of steaks that we have to finish in an hour. On top of that, we do have two other sides, a cream spinach and mac and cheese with some bacon bits inside of it. So this is going to be a pretty big size challenge, but I am excited. So hopefully we can complete it. This is not a race, so I will not be racing Randy. But with all that said, let's go inside and check out what this steak looks like. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am very, very excited today. I'm going for overall win, number 938. I am back with my friend, Mr. Nathan Figueroa. We are both, again, in Miami, Florida. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. All right, thank you guys for your patience. Only an hour late, not too bad. <laughs> Oh, and mother, if you're watching, I love you. All right, big thank you to everybody here with Meat and Bones and the Wagyu Bar. We've got one hour, time to shut up and eat and just enjoy this delicious Wagyu steak. I think we both have the same strategy. We're gonna start with this tomahawk. Still a lot of meat here. I'm starting with this. You're starting with that? Yes. All right, so we will see what strategy works out better. That's not on foodchallenges.com. One, two, Three, boom. All right. It's been a while since I've had Wagyu beef, and I am excited. And this is low fat, right? Low fat, yes. It's very low fat meat. I'm already off to a good head start. This might not even need ketchup. That was a bad joke, I apologize. We got both of our steaks medium rare. That is amazing looking. There's no real way to get all of the meat off the bone unless you just use your hands, but this bone is gone. 
And now I will finish off the rest. This steak alone is like 160 bucks. It is amazing. If we fail this, we have to pay $250. I forgot to mention that in my intro. Okay. Wagyu meat is so freaking tender. It is awesome. All right, guys, so I'm gonna jump in here really quickly. After seeing the meat in person, I strategized by going for the picanha steak first because there was no bone in it and I felt that it was going to be the bigger portion. It's about three pounds. Then going to the tomahawk steak because obviously the bone yields weight. So I'd imagine the tomahawk steak, it was three pounds with the bone. I'd imagine it's maybe about two pounds. The bone itself wasn't that heavy. Uh, but the picanha steak was pretty smooth. I just was not cutting it correctly. I cut against, I guess, the meat threads, if that makes sense. The guy told me that I should have cut it the other way, but the food was delicious, and I'm just finishing up the first steak now. But also it's because I'm taking very big bites. <coughs> done, I'm just kidding. <laughs> picanha, we're done with that. I thought it was excellent. And now Randy's been hyping this up right here. Saying that I'm gonna love it. Mm -hmm. And this is my first time having tomahawk steak. Never had before. Last bite of the tomahawk steak. <clears throat> all right, I am actually gonna finish the cream spinach because after all that meat, I need some healthy vegetables in my diet. We are 12 and a half minutes in, 12 minutes, 38 seconds. All right, 14 minutes in, Nathan tells me the tomahawk's a little bit more tender. We'll find out if I should have started with it, but I think we're okay. This is three pounds here too. You tell me. That is a good looking piece of steak. Nathan paid him off and got a two and a half pound steak, so he's a little bit ahead. You're turning it into a race again. <laughs> no, I am not. You did it last time too. I am enjoying. No, I was worried about us losing that crawfish challenge. All right, guys, so getting into the Wagyu tomahawk steak, I have to say it was fantastic. It was flavorful, it was juicy, and it literally just melted in your mouth. Personally, I prefer the tomahawk steak than the picanha steak. They did a fantastic job. Also, just wanted to comment, I didn't really talk much because I personally have a little bit of anxiety with a lot of people, and Randy's voice is very powerful. So when he talks, obviously he talks very loud, and when I'm talking, it sounds like I'm whispering, but I'm just talking normal. So I just let Randy do most of the talking and figured I would just do a quick voiceover. So we're getting close to the end, and I'll let you guys watch the rest. We are 22 minutes and 15 seconds in. We still have 30, a little under 38 minutes to go. We are kicking butt. Nathan, what do you think? That means delicious. Yes. I asked you what you think. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What's up, food ninjas? We're here at the Wagyu bar taking on this delicious steak. I've got like 700 pairs of shoes at my house. I've only worn each of them once. So you watch my videos? Yeah. <laughs> Are you leaving? Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm glad we got a photo. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. Really was like me. Thank We're taking a quick break because our friend Jeffrey is here. He was able to come to this challenge. Have a good day. That was a strategy to give myself a second break. <laughs> <laughs> we are at 25 minutes, 45 seconds in. We're getting there, almost there. Nathan is all done with his stick. Nice job, Nathan. Good job. He still has both of his sides, though. I'm excited to hear what he thinks of that. You want it? No, no, I do like it. Mm. No, I'm gonna save this one for last. 
because it's the easier one to eat. What do you think about the macaroni and cheese? The mac and cheese is good, but I would pick that over it. All right, I am done with my sides. Now I'm gonna finish off the rest of this picanha steak. The macaroni cheese is delicious, and the bacon is very smoky, almost like a barbecue, like a barbecue flavor. This is especially delicious now that I know I'm chewing on the cow's butt cheeks. I don't know if it's gristle or what it is right there, but we're chewing through that. Nathan finished his, so I gotta do all mine. Ooh, all right. So I'm on my last item here. Randy literally has two bites left. Finished just on time. Cheers to a delicious tomahawk steak challenge. Woo! Use, you don't uh -huh. have any. <clears throat> All right. Boom! Ah! All right. Yes. Good job, guys. Ooh, we'll go with his. They're one second off. Yeah. 35 minutes and 56 seconds. Great job to Mr. Nathan Figueroa. What'd you think? That was delicious. Yeah. First time having tomahawk steak. Way yep. too. Yep. Yeah, I've had Tomahawk steaks before, but I don't think they were Wagyu. That was amazing. And now a word from our sponsor, Upstart. So last year showed us that you never really know what life will throw at you. And if you use credit cards for unexpected expenses, it can be pretty overwhelming trying to manage that debt. Especially if you've used multiple credit cards, trying to track multiple balances, that can be very stressful. But Upstart makes things simple, having one monthly payment in one place. Upstart is a fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off all your debt online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high risk debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a fixed, simple monthly payment. Upstart finds smarter rates with trusted partners because they assist more than just your credit score. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans from 1,000 to 50,000 dollars you can get approved the same day and you can receive your funds as fast as one business day find out how upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash nate figs that's upstart.com slash nate figs loan amounts will be determined based on your credits income and certain information you provided in your loan application again that's upstart.com slash nate figs thank you Go Katina. Woo. Katina right. eats. Yeah, Katina yeah, eats. Katina eats. That's, <laughs> not, uh, that's not correct though. Come on, food ninjas. And this is finally a good sharp knife. She's gonna beat us, huh? I think she is. She's 12 minutes in and she's already eaten one of the steaks. Yeah, I think she's faster than you. What? You start, how long did it take you to finish the picanha? Honestly, I don't know. I don't remember either. Yeah. Maybe like, maybe like the same time. Maybe like 12 minutes. Hey, food ninjas, comment down below if you'd like to see Nathan and Livia versus Atlas and Katina eats kilos. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end off today's video. Thank you, Randy, for inviting me on this challenge once again. He's always welcome. Always fun to eat with Nathan. Are we gonna do any more? I love eating meat with Nathan. Okay. <laughs> That's where we end it. <laughs> okay, peace out, bye.